Hey guys, and uh, welcome to our locomotion course. In this series, we're going to uh, set up an unarmed locomotion system, a directional strafing, and a bunch of other features that I'm sure you must know by now. So, as you can see, this is a basic third person template. Uh, you can create your own. Um, this course is not for you know beginners per se, but you can follow along. Just take your time and you should get everything uh, working fine. Right, so we're going to create a new folder. <clears throat> I'm going to call this locomotion. Within this folder, we're going to create another folder called enums. And we're going to open this up. I'm going to right click, blueprints, enumeration. Uh, I'm going to call this E underscore gate and open it up. We're going to create four options here. The first one is going to be sprint. Secondly will be jog. Third will be walk. And lastly will be in our idle state. Uh, we're going to create another folder in our locomotion folder here. Right click. Uh, new folder, we're going to call the structs, open that up as well, right click, blueprint, structure, E, underscore, gate, not E, my bad, ST, underscore, gate, settings. We're going to open this up and we're going to change the first uh, variable here to a float. And we're going to duplicate this. Well, we're going to add six of them. So we already have one. So two, three, four, five, and six. The first one is going to be our movement speed. Secondly, will be our <coughs> max acceleration. Third one is going to be braking deceleration. Fourth one is going to be our braking friction factor. Um, mm -mm. This one is going to be our use separate braking friction. This one is going to be simply braking friction. Now, for the use separate braking friction, that is going to be a boolean variable. And that is all for here. We're going to save and close. We're also going to create an interface to pass the data uh, to our animation blueprint. So I'm going to right click, create a new folder, and we're going to call this interface. Yeah. Open this up, right click, blueprints and create a blueprint interface. We're going to call this BPI underscore gate data. I'm going to open this up. Then let's say receive gate data. It's going to have an input of type enum e gate that we just created and this is going to be simply gate the name we're going to create an output for this and it's going to be of type boolean and let's just say success and compile and save now we're going to create um, a component and set up the basics for our animation blueprint. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder here. 
just gonna call this components open it up look on class and we're gonna create an actor component the reason that we are doing this is so that when whenever you are ready to migrate this locomotion system to your project or any other project for that matter it will be really quick and really easy to set up you simply need to add a component to your player character and that will be all so i'm gonna click on this i'm gonna call this bbc for blueprint component underscore gate uh, gate data sure why not i'm going to open this up compile and save always remember to save your work and i'm going to create a few variables here the first one is going to be our current gate this is also going to be of type e gate that we created earlier i'm going to duplicate this i'm going to call this last gate and the other one is going to be our gate settings which is going to be a combination of our gate structure and our uh, yeah our gate settings and our gate enum so I'm gonna call this gate settings and it's going to be of variable type map the second variable is going to be our settings structure so we're going to search for st gates i believe this was gate settings that i named it yes gate settings if we compile and save now you can see we have a few elements here you can select whichever one you like and set the movement speed and acceleration and all of those great stuff as you wish per gate if you try to add another one you will get this uh little note here that says you cannot add another one with uh while the default value still exists so what we want to do is change this to jog and then we can create another and the same thing will need to go down the line since print is our first value, we cannot uh, add another one unless the last option on the list here is not sprint, unless you reach the end of your tree, which is, you know, sprint. <laughs> so I'm going to hit compile and save. I'm going to create a new function now. I'm going to call this update gate. Nice. This is going to require an input of type E underscore gate. Oh, my bad. E underscore gate. I'm going to call this desired gate. Right. Now, follow along carefully. This is going to be a small function, but, you know, always be careful. So we're going to set our last gate firstly to our current gate and then we're going to set our current gate to our input desired gate. Now if you hit compile and you right click you can say get desired gate and it will get the input of the function right here so no need to store a local variable or anything like that. I'm going to drag this in and set our current gate as our desired gate. Now we are going to get our interface, which is receive gate data. As you can see, it's right here. We're gonna leave this right here and say we're gonna duplicate the get desired gate variable and add this to the input. Uh, we're going to create a small function before we move forward. I'm just going to call this get anim instance. Now we will need to get the owner of the component. We're going to say cast to character. And as you know, casting 
isn't the best way to do you know things in unreal since it's pretty expensive so what we're gonna do oh, sorry i'm just adjusting my mic here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click give me a sec okay yeah we're gonna right click on this cast and we're gonna convert it to a pure cast uh, we can change this later by simply storing a reference to our character in an interface and you know setting the target and calling the interface here but we're going to do it this way since it, it really won't take that much uh, performance it's not really that expensive right now um, right so we're going to say get mesh and from the mesh we're going to get the anim instance if you highlight each of these and you hit Q on your keyboard, you can straighten all of the pins. I have mine set to the one key, but you know it may be Q for you uh, still. So I'm going to drag the return value to the input of this function and it will automatically create an output. And we're going to drag this output in like this. We're going to make this function a pure function and we're going to compile and save. Now you can see we have an error here and that's simply the gate requiring an input and the input is going to be our get and an instance function that we just created now if you compile that error will go away nice now we will need to get our gate settings map variable and we're going to say find so we're going to find the desired gate because our current gate will be our desired gate so let's get our desired gate variable and slot it in right here highlight each of these hit Q straighten things out and now we're going to break the settings because we require all of the settings that we created in our structure um something that we will need to do and you can do this as well to make things a bit neat um actually 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 no we're gonna do it just this way so get owner I'm gonna do get component by class and the component that we will require is the character movement component from here we are going to say set max walk speed I'm just gonna plug this up oh we need to add a branches here as well so if success is true then we pass this and what what this branch will really check for within our gate data interface is if it is receiving the the gate from our animation blueprint in our component and the component will be passed down to our character if this returns false then it will do nothing so to avoid that little error we can simply add this branch um, set max walk speed i'm going to create a reroute pin here um yeah so we're going to set each of the variables that we see in our structure so set max acceleration so acceleration breaking deceleration i'm going to neaten everything up after so breaking the cell i'm going to say set set breaking deceleration walking yeah this one I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible and as neat as possible as well. Uh, the other one is breaking friction factor. Then we have use separate breaking friction. And lastly, we have breaking friction. Nice. 
nice. All we need to do is connect all of this to the input of our set variables. Alright, uh, we can compile and save. And on begin play, we're going to call our update gate function. And we're going to set our gate to be jog on begin play. Um, lastly, before we close this video off, we are going to add some inputs here. We're going to create one for jog and the other for walk. We don't need to set idle because idle, you know, it's going to be a speed zero. It's going to, it's going to be when the character is in, the, in an idle state. So no worries. Uh, we're going to set up the sprinting afterwards as well. So for jogging, we're going to set the movement speed to 450. This is my preference. Um, but you can do the same values depending on your animations. Since I'm going to be using the Lyra animations, this is going to be my settings. Um, the braking deceleration is going to be 450 as well. The braking friction factor is going to be 1. And I'm going to set use separate braking friction to true. For walking, I'm going to set my speed to 200. My acceleration to 450. Deceleration to 250. We can test this out afterwards. Set this to 1 and set this to true. Now, currently we are in the jogging state. So if I hit play, you can see nothing happens. And this is because we didn't add the component to our player character. So I'm going to add our component now, BPC gate data. And this will override the character movement component settings in our character with data in our BPC uh, gate data component. And again, you can see nothing happens. This is because we haven't created our animation blueprint yet. So right now this is failing. So if you add a print string here, I'm going to call this uh, AVP invalid. Now it should say, it should, you know, go down the false path. Yeah, so you can see AVP invalid on begin play. So that will be it for this episode. And in the next one, we're going to create and set up our animation blueprint. See ya.